What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with some Overlord. It sounds crazy even saying that, especially when I'm sure some of you guys are aware that Overlord seasons one through three were some of my oldest videos on this channel. They did get taken down, sadly, but I am going to be re uploading them relatively soon. So if you're finding this through Overlord and you want to see those, you can definitely experience those right now on the Patreon, but I'm going to be uploading those to the channel very, very soon. Also, with some of you guys don't know, the first and last episode of every show or of every season that we do of every show on the channel here the full length which is normally available exclusively on patreon is available for free for everyone so click that link at the top of the description when you're done with that come back here for the review enjoy that let me know what you think very excited overlord is amazing i did a couple of recaps did a couple episode watches i think i'm ready to hop into this world if i forget anything or if it, if it takes a second for some stuff to click i hope you guys are a little bit patient with me it has been a very long time since i've seen the show there's a whole lot of other shows coming out right now and overlord has like 7200 characters i'm not joking but i'm very excited don't forget to subscribe click that bell so you guys always know when i post over here on the dapper channel don't forget to drink some water Let's hop right on into this. Overlord, season four, episode one. There is no title. Let's do it. <laughs> there are some parts of me that I'm like, I wish I had a girl like Albedo. And there are other parts like, I definitely don't wish I had a girl like Albedo. Chapter one, Ein's, Al Ein's Old Gown, Nation of Leading Darkness. That's the title, okay. <laughs> Hey man, you're the sorcerer king, man. You gotta be flashy. Oh, yeah, I mean. Sounds about right. Just give him that stamp of approval. Okay. In terms of an actual society, some good ideas. True. Mm -hmm. That's the one thing I always like about Momongo. Ah, it's like. I've been thinking about this kind of going over my recap or my review of the entire show leading up to this point, and I wanted to have just like a little talk with you guys about it. What's your guys' opinion on Ainz or Momonga? Because like my first time watching the show, I was like, oh, he's your typical Isekai main character, cool dude, you know, stuck in this, you know, what's he going to do? Rewatching it now, I'm like, holy shit, Ainz is kind of a bad guy. Like he kills a lot of people indiscriminately, like... Usually there's for some sort of reason, but he kills a lot of people. Is he like an anti-hero? Is he like, I don't fucking know, but... He seems to have such compassion in, and like care towards his subordinates because they remind him of his friends and stuff like that, but then sometimes he'll just turn that switch off, you know? It's great seeing them again. I'm always shocked by... I'm always shocked by Mare. Sometimes I get their names confused because Mare is so innocent and sweet and shy until Ainz tells him to kill someone and then he does it indiscriminately as well. Albedo's jealous. Let me get in there. Sorry, right, there's not enough lap to go around. Especially at the beginning of a new season, you know, we got to reintroduce some of our main characters. Re get in love with the the floor guardian stuff like that <laughs> that's what albedo wants though she's the perverted one of anything yeah, Aura never really does act like this. I am curious. Agreed. Are we going to see more Dark Elves? I'd be down. He's going to be like, yes, please explain to them what you've been thinking. Yes. 
I love, I love Ainz and his obliviousness. Really? Trade is very big, yeah. What can we do about that? You have to fix not our reputation, but our name. Somewhat of our reputation. My boy Hamsuke. See, we got to reintroduce us to some of these characters. Now he's one of the best. Heck yeah. Random ass death knight. I remember that. When those guys like invaded, Hamasuke killed the fuck out of him. I remember that. One of the most extra <laughs> people in the entire Nazarick. Pandora's actor. He is too much. Normally, yeah, but we need you as... Okay, okay, so we can go back and forth with relative ease. お前が想像した通りの姿を見せようと努力してくれるのは非常に嬉しい。だがこうも思うのだ。子は父を超えてこそではないかとな。オッケー。お前様、私を殺そう。私によって生み出せながらも、私が生み出していない部分を見せてほ
But he is very open to peaceful relations as well. I get that, especially coming from Idrisville, you know, the game. And him and his Nazarick buddies, I consider them true adventurers, so. Compare what's going on right now to them, I get it. I get where he's coming from completely. All right, Einzak, I'm going to write down your name. I like you. Heck yeah. Kind of a big task. Honey, you're real sweet, you know what I'm saying? That is a wonderful thought. Oh, I like that. Getting some slime vibes. Let's do it. Goblins, elves, half elves, orcs, whatever it may be. So this was definitely like an intro episode. The guild of Ainzo right here in the world. Yeah, this is definitely an intro episode, but it's showing us the potential of this season. Who may be out there like, I have a high hopes for this season. I, I firmly do. Do we, do you guys know? Oh, it's probably going to be like 13 episodes, huh? Like the other seasons. No intro or outro either? Damn. Even though that episode was literally just Ainz talking, reintroducing our cast, re-getting us back to where we were right now, I felt like that episode went by in two minutes, like, god damn it, Overlord. I need to see the opening and the outro. I, I've always loved Overlord's, like, kind of metal, kind of electronic style openings and is super, you know, out there. Um, thoroughly enjoying where we're at right now. We have some crazy development from over the first three seasons to where we're at. And so with that being said, now that we're sort of stationary, sort of stable, we need to re-evaluate our current standing and then push forward. And with that, we are going to be absorbing the Adventurers Guild, which I didn't know in terms of every guild in every nation, they have their own jurisdiction or not aligned with the actual kingdom itself. It's good to know. So we have Einzak, who's going to be first and foremost joining and doing this, which I'm excited. Um, I like that concept of us exploring new lands, making new relationships, just kind of like he wanted to in the beginning, but way more refined and way more um, efficient. We're going to be spreading the name of Nazarick and Ayn's old gown. And I do like how he relates his current position, his current endeavors with that of Idrisil and of season one in the past before all this shut down, you know, that's why. And I talked about it in this episode, you know, like, it is super biased, so it really does attest to Momonga's character as a character himself, but he really is unbothered by the actual races, whether it be half elves, orcs, whatever, humans. Like, if they died, he really didn't care. But these creations, his subordinates made by his old actual friends, he treats these like his old friends. They're the only connection between him and them, so he loves them endlessly. And so, like, I kind of question that in this episode itself but I, I i understand it now i get that it is a huge bias but i understand that like if I, I i would probably be in the same myself but like i said stakes are raised we are not trying to build a kingdom we're trying to expand a kingdom completely different if you guys have seen ranking of kings you guys know actually building a kingdom is real hard but the way he did it was kind of fucking crazy you know momonga's insane but loving this episode very excited for the season Remember, if you guys want uncut, full length, continue to have that. Check out the Patreon. Links are down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, click that bell so you guys always know when I post over here on the Dapper channel. Don't forget to drink some water. Tell someone you love them. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace out.